uh, this is uh, TS2 TS2 paper 1 question number I don't it's 59 Now see, uh, this is hardly any complexity in solving this question, but I agree it's not very straightforward to do it in exam. If you are not relaxed in exam, you cannot do it. Let's, let's see this question, but the concept wise, it's a very straightforward question. The length of the tangent, if, let's see the statement too. The length of the tangent from any point x1, y1 to the circle x equal, s equal to 0 is root of s1 right true it's a formula formula to find length of a tangent drawn to a circle from a point so it's a correct statement now let's see the first statement statement one number one these are four points and and from these points we are plotting tangents to the circles and circles means circles that are described on taking these points in pair as diameter now let's see the first thing and this is representing pr comma s is representing length of the tangent drawn from point p to a circle that is described on rs as diameter assuming rs as diameter we can draw a circle diametric using diametric form of, of a circle now from point p we plot tangent to this circle now this length of the tangent is this expression p r comma s so let the four points be x1 p be x1 y1 q be x2 y2 r be x3 y3 and s is x4 y4 now equation of circle described on rss diameter using diametric form is this coordinates of r and s are these so you know x uh, diametric form using diametric form we get this now length of tangent drawn from point P so we have this circle this is R this is S now length of tangent drawn from point P to this circle is root of S1 where S, S is equation, equation of the circle and we replace in this we replace you know how to write this we replace X by X1 Y by Y1 and take the square root right uh, but PR comma S is square of the length of the tangent right so square square root cancels out so this is like length of the tangent drawn from P drawn from point P to a circle described on RSS diameter by replacing X by X1 Y by Y1 in the equation of a circle and taking square root and then taking square also because in the definition there is a square now R comma P comma QS will find the second quantity P comma QS now we can do it fast so, so we have the clarity of the question we can do it quickly so P this is P this is P this part is going to be same see this part this part is going now R and S coordinates of X coordinate of R is X3 but instead of that we have Q so we take X coordinate of Q that is X2 same here this will remain sorry should be X1 this will remain same X1 now X4 instead of X4 which is X coordinate of point S x4 will remain same, we'll again use x4 same here instead of 2 we have y2 instead of y3 we have y2 and instead of y, y4 remains y4 now similarly we can write q comma rs so q means we have to replace coordinates of q instead of coordinates of p from the uh, if you just look at this so, so x1 will change to x2 and this x2 which is x coordinate of q will change to x3 r is x3 x2 minus x4 sorry we should have symmetry here y2 minus y3 y2 minus y4 now finally we write q comma pr q is x2 
minus now PR so in the equation of the circle will use PR so P means x1 and R means x3 and we replace x2 so x2 minus x1 into x2 minus x3 plus y2 minus y1 into y2 minus y3 now we have to combine these two according to this this plus this minus this is again minus and this is again plus right now when we combine these two subtract this from this we can take this part common so first of all I am doing this take this part common x1 minus x4 and the difference of these two is x2 minus x3 same here take y1 minus y4 common this part I have taken common and difference of these two is y2 minus y3 same here we subtract this from this this from this so we take x2 minus x3 out right and this minus this will be x4 minus x1 same here only we change x by y now we have to add these two you can see this cancels out with this this cancels out with this so it is 0 so it means statement 1 is correct statement 1 is correct statement 2 is correct now we have to choose answer is A or B right now that depends upon whether we have used this concept to prove this whether this formula is used to prove this if yes then answer is A if there is no use of this formula to prove this there is no way to prove this using this formula then answer is B and if using this formula this can be proved true then answer is A and yes yes you can see using this, this formula as in using this formula we can show this in fact we have used this formula to prove this so answer is a not B